प्रोफेसर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस फ्रीक्वेंसी रेशियो मेजरमेंट यूजिंग आई सी सेवन फोर सी नाइन टू सिक्स इन लास्ट वीडियो वी सॉ हाउ टू मेजर फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ अ गिवन सिग्नल बाय यूजिंग आई सी सेवन फोर सी नाइन टू सिक्स लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब फ्रीक्वेंसी रेशियो मेजरमेंट स्कीम यूजिंग आई सी सेवन फोर सी नाइन टू सिक्स कंटेंट्स फ्रीक्वेंसी रेशियो मेजरमेंट स्कीम विल बी डिस्क्राइब बाय यूजिंग ब्लॉक डायग्राम फर्स्ट एंड देन द फ्रीक्वेंसी रेशियो मेजरमेंट स्कीम विल बी एक्सप्लेन using timing diagram so let us see the block diagram of frequency ratio measurement scheme as usual we have this 74c926 which is a four digit decade counter with display driver circuitry since there are four digit decade counters there are four seven segment displays are required which are connected and these are driven in a multiplexer fashion so that these transistors are controlled by using this uh, control signals a b c d and this is mainly a counter which counts the clock pulses given to it and whenever counting is over we can store these uh, count value into a uh, internal latch by activating this uh, latch enable input named as y and after latching the data now the counter is ready for the next measurement cycle by making this reset input high called as z in and the display select input of this ic74 c is uh, permanently grounded such that so that we get large data to be displayed on these seven segment displays so whatever large data after measurement is uh, displayed here now in frequency ratio measurement scheme there are two frequencies one is high frequency and another is low frequency so we are finding the ratio of these two frequencies so to find out the ratio of two frequencies what is done is the high frequency signals are given through this uh, input interface which uh, is used as a signal conditioning circuit so that the output of this is compatible to this uh, digital uh, gate logic gate so whatever the high uh, whatever the frequency input signal input signal frequency whether it is a sinusoidal or uh, any type of uh, other uh, signal can be here converted into uh, digital that is a square wave and then ap appropriately Uh, voltage levels are uh, uh, maintained by using this input interface circuit and then it is given to the and gate of the uh, uh, input to the and gate and another input of the and gate is coming from the flip flop flip flop which divides the input frequency by 2 and the input frequency is uh, another frequency which is called a low frequency signal which is again given through this input interface which is used for signal conditioning of the input signal so what we get here at the out output of flip flop is the time based signal used for frequency ratio measurement so this time based signal will be a time period of low frequency signal that means this signal or this input of the and gate will be uh, uh, remain high will remain high 
for exactly one period of this low frequency signal. So, what we are doing here is we are counting the high frequency pulses, we are counting because this AND gate output is given as a clock input to the 74C926. So, these clock pulses are counted for exactly one period of low frequency signal. That means, we get uh, a frequency ratio between this high frequency and low frequency. So, this way we can find out the ratio of these two unknown frequencies and this control signal block is used to generate the latch enable input at the end of uh, the time period of a low frequency signal. That means, whenever time period of this low frequency signal is over, this latch enable input is activated and the data is latched into this uh, counter and it will be displayed on this uh, seven segment displays. And to make this device ready for the next measurement, we should again reset this counter to 0. So, that is done again by this control signal by generating this reset signal just after this latch enable input is uh, activated. So, first latch enable signal is generated, then reset is generated. So, this way we can measure a frequency ratio. Here, since these are decayed counters or inside this 74C926, there is a decayed counter, we can uh, display a maximum number on these four digits is 9999. So, here we can measure a frequency ratio of two frequencies with a maximum limit of 9999. Let us understand the operation of frequency ratio measurement setup using this timing diagram. Here, the first what we have drawn is a low frequency signal. The low frequency signal one time period is shown here from this to this. So, for first half cycle this is high and it is low. Then this is given to the flip flop and flip flop output gives us a high pulse of this much duration. That means, high pulse for time period of the low frequency signal is given and the counter counts this high frequency pulses for exactly this much period. That means, in one time period of a low frequency signal, how many clock pulses are there of high frequency signal is uh, found and that is what the frequency ratio. So, at the end of the time period of low frequency signal, that means at this point, latch enable is activated. So, at this point, the data is latched into the internal counters and it will be displayed on the seven segment displays. And after that, the reset is also activated just after this latch enable because now the counter becomes ready for the next measurement cycle. So, this way frequency ratio measurement setup is done. Let us have a question. What is the maximum ratio of two frequencies that can be measured using IC 74C926? You pause the video and answer the question. As we have seen earlier, the maximum that we can display here is 9999. So, naturally the maximum frequency ratio that can be measured using this IC74C926 will be 
9999 only but since we are counting from 0 we the ratio maximum ratio that we can count is 10000 0 to 9999 so the answer is maximum ratio that can be counted by using ic74 c926 is 10000 These are my references. Electronic system design by Vaibhav T. Tarate, Electro Tech Publication Satara. Thank you very much.